Let's continue our discussion of k-means. All right, now here's a question for you. Uh, given that k-means' actual goal is to minimize this cost, does it actually do that? <laughs> um, well, we know that the cost gets lower at every iteration of k-means, but it doesn't always um, doesn't it doesn't always converge to it an optimal solution. Um, like in other words, it doesn't always give you an optimal set of cluster assignments and reference points, and that's why you probably want to restart it with a lot of different initial um, starting points so that you can choose the final solution that has the lowest cost of all those initial starts that you tried. Okay, so it might, you know, converge to, a, you might get a lot of different local solutions, but maybe one of them is good enough for your, for your clustering. Okay, um, but there's a problem that's actually worse than, <laughs> worse than just the fact that it, that it doesn't converge to a globally optimal solution. Um, in some cases, the objective here might actually be completely the wrong objective. And I'm going to show you an example where this objective is just plain wrong. So no matter where you set up the initial cluster centers, you're going to get garbage. Okay, so <laughs> here I've initialized my, my cluster centers. And the two, the two guys on the top, they're going to separate a little bit. So keep an eye on those ones. And I'm going to start iterating here. Okay, here we go. One iteration, two, three, Come, we'll keep going. Okay. And then it, it calls itself converged now. <laughs> Black. <laughs> Anyway, so um, yeah, you, you, you can find some examples where k-means doesn't optimize its objective function, but here it did a good job of optimizing the objective. It's just that the objective was lousy for this data set. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it is a nifty little algorithm. It's very heavily used. Uh, it's particularly useful when your data sort of naturally have Gaussian blobs, right? Then you can um, each of those blobs can naturally be a cluster, but if you have these clusters that are meandering manifolds, that's where it's it's not so great. Anyway, so now that gives you a perspective on k-means, and now you know what it's doing. Thanks. <laughs>